Okay, okay. What kind of monsters have a checkout at nine? What happened last night? Oh, my head. Pills plus drinking. That was not my best idea. I black out or what? Ugh, oh, I can't. I can't think straight. I need some water on my face. Clear it up. God, what a headache. Oh, my head. How many of these did I take? Please let there be water. No, no more beer. I need water. Is that? No, that's not water. That is vodka, the opposite of water. No water, of course. I was at least hoping I'd look better than I feel. I already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt?
You're doing good. Really good. You're almost there. Focus. Choose. Act. Deliberately. Hide. It's never happened. If I run, I'll keep running. And then you face what happened. Answers. Get far away. Don't run. Just go. As far as fast as I can. Yes, answers. Good or bad, I need answers. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. I'm gonna take it slow and be cautious, don't worry. Yeah, telling people not to worry always works. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. I remember seeing this before, a long time ago. Ethan and his parents, and I'm guessing that's his sister. He always thought they'd run the bar together. Whoa. What happened here last night? First, look around, figure out what happened. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? Ripped. Did this happen yesterday, or was it always like that? They might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night.
What knocked this clock off the pillar? do this? Sorry, Nick. It seems there was a fight that could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. The pot was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. The flowers are ruined. Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't surprise me. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. I can always count on this place to make sense. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. My memory ends here. I was drinking on my own, when someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Jukebox is not in the same place. Maybe it was involved in the fight some. One hell of a mess. This could definitely be the result of two people fighting. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. Looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. I have the complete picture now. You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch? You 
Don't talk about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was, Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the... Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and then broke in. Time to leave if you're leaving. You'll want to apologize. Trust me. God damn. Sam? You're, you're not here to rob me, right? Ethan, I, uh... No, I'm not here to rob you. Oh, good. I won't have to break your legs. I'm here to apologize about last night. Ah, uh, I thought that might be the case. Don't sweat it. This place gets busted up once a month. Sounds rough. I guess. It's, it is what it is. Buy a bar, you gotta run a bar, you know? I'll take cleaning up your dumbass mess over dealing with family any day. Ethan, did anything weird happen last night? Well, you and Dennis beat the crap out of each other, and then you left. And now I gotta clean it up. Don't worry about it. Uh, too much. No one's on their best behavior after losing a loved one. I know I'm not. At least my sister isn't dead. She's just ruining her life. She wants to be called Kayla now. Ruining her life? Yeah, living in some commune. Dropped out of school. Life of a heathen. We all make mistakes. Yeah, and I feel like she makes most of them. Sam, I got a lot of your mess to clean up. So if you could, you know, leave. I got places to be anyways. See you around, Ethan. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis' cell phone. No answer. So what now? There's that coffee date with Anna. Anna might have to wait. I want to see if anyone has seen Dennis first. I don't know. I'll play it by ear. Just remember she's expecting you. She's extending the olive branch. Don't drop it. I still have time before meeting Anna. Might as well ask if anyone saw Dennis.
Hey, Bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. Um, any word on my dad? Did you really look into it? Sorry, Bug. Other things have been getting in the way. Yeah. Everyone keeps saying things like that. Sorry. I know you're trying. It's just this town, you know? This place. It feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. I can't think. I can't stand my mom. I don't like school. Well, except for science. And just... When I imagine myself in the future, I just don't... I don't know. I don't see this place, or these people. I'm somewhere else. Anywhere else. I know it's stupid, just... It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world. Have adventures, fall in love. I mean, that's what I've been told anyway. Gross. Okay, well that other stuff sounds okay though. Thanks for listening. I got grown up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So we're both busy. It's tough seeing her like this. Seems she got older by six years and just two. A statue honoring miners. Pretty meaningless now. Drowned six men. Basswood's mining started with an accident. Fitting. Hey, can I ask you something? Hello, young man. Of course you can ask. No promise answered. Why do you bother cleaning the memorial? Well, everything has to look its best for today. Especially the minor. I really didn't think it was going to happen this year. Good thing Mr. Kirkland decided to help out. And besides, that way people can remember with pride we used to be rednecks. And that matters to you? It should matter to every West Virginian. And why do you think it should matter so much? How many West Virginians does it take to screw in a light bulb? This doesn't sound like a history lesson. You answer my question, I'll answer yours. So, how many West Virginians? Two. One to hold the light bulb, the other to rotate the planet. <laughs> not bad. The one I have in store is three. One to replace the light bulb, two to complain about how the old one was better. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, just not the kind of funny you laugh at. So, you still want to hear the story? I'm all ears. This fella here is a reminder of when coal miners stood together. You see, back a hundred years ago, you'd be safer in the trenches than down in the mines. You didn't sit right with our boys. They demanded better conditions. Of course, the corporations, being what they are, refused, and sent strike breakers. The mine wars. Miners came out in force, union men. Met the strike breakers over in Logan County. That's right. 10,000 strong. And it all came to a head at Blair Mountain. The miners tied red bandanas around their necks for solidarity. Brotherhood. At least a hundred men died in that battle. Blood spill for what we have now. 
It definitely makes for one hell of a story. There's heroes everywhere. Heroes who died for what I have. So, I do my part. Feel I owe it to them. I get it. I think you do. Anyway, I get back to it. Gonna give her a real spit shine. You take care now. Jump by you been. What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. I heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble? <laughs> they might have given me a bit of a welcome back. After the mine closed, well. It ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I can just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. The cripple takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out, see the decorations, pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. I have places I need to be, but... It's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Someone must have seen him after the fight. Really didn't think Miner's Day would have survived the mine closing down. Perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends. Maybe Kathy will know something. Or that new pharmacist. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you have to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but... It's hard when no one is polite back. People call you... Uh, Declan, I've got places to be. Right. Don't need me gabbing at you all day like I was Christina or something. <laughs> Woo! That girl can talk. Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. 
Trust me, I know. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. You know you're in Basswood when even the graffiti's about miners. Didn't used to see this around. I'm surprised it hasn't been removed. Yo, get out the way. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. That's enough. <laughs> Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. <laughs> Reminds me of a girl I met. She could only eat chips when she had stomach aches. Not uncommon for miners to end up in those once they get black lungs. Oh, Sam, you here to pick up something for your, uh, condition? I have a condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so... you. It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve and your half-digested food starts to leak out into your blood. I'm trying to find something for it, and if it doesn't help, it can't hurt. I'm glad someone took over this whole drugstore. Can you imagine? This town without a pharmacy would be like, well, me with a hole in my gut. <laughs> I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Oh, yes, <laughs> always. Ah, oh, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Yeah, I got to hear all about it secondhand. Really not my finest hour. I would say not. After your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys. But you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. <laughs> How do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. 
You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover, but I find in some cases, time is the best medicine. A pill pusher who doesn't want to push pills. That's a new one. Everything is poison. All that matters is the dose. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I have to ask, why move here, of all places? You know, here, Basswood. A blink and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. Oh, you'd make sales. But you don't get to know anyone, ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something from me? Sure thing. What is it? I knew I could count on you. I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll try and remember to ask next time I talk to him. I really appreciated the chat, but I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. Bug made that for Mother's Day years ago, and Kathy still keeps it with her. Hey, Kathy. Yo, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? So, the wake... I, um... Uh, none of us were on our best behavior. Nick would have been happy you showed up, no matter how anything else went. I left early myself to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl, not a little... Sam Higgs, sneaking around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're gonna prove that she's right. Sorry, I know it's not your fault, but I just don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter and I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. If the boss sees me John instead of working, I'll get an earful. No one in here was much help. Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I suppose. I grew up here. Been gone for a couple of years. I'm not staying long. Wait, you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by. Like everyone else here. 
Too poor to stay. Too poor to leave. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think the town's recent history will be included. It's fine with me. Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as big? Back when this town wasn't just a big horse we all keep kicking. Ah, now I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? Do I really have a choice? Or are you just gonna guilt me with the social contract till I agree? The second one. You always were a character. Okay, Muley, for two points. What is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show, Prancers? The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? You know, my favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really like to win, huh, Bug? All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young... Is that a comic about monsters? It's about Tardigrade Man. He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based on the microscopic Tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. She says she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? Entomologist. I'm gonna study every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug, it's a micro animal. Well, good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. So, uh, can we play this again tomorrow, maybe? We can play as often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. I don't think you're supposed to be using that language. You can't break this, no matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? Say it! I won't break the pinky swear, no matter what. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her, because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and... Well, far from me to criticize or anything, but these last few months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. Well, hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time... Ah, uh, but look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. 
you three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? Uh, sitting in my mom's spare bedroom and decomposing into arrested development. <laughs> well, at least you're decomposing with family. You look well. I've been better, hung over this morning. You know what's good for that? Coffee. I know, Christina. Not right now. I gotta go. Anna's here. I should talk to her. Not very inspired. Hey man, thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh right, you're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. So quiet, there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? Hmm. Cowboy must have lost his keys. <laughs> Glad to see Joan hasn't changed too much. Good to see someone finally knows how to take care of a plant. It's basic, yet so many people manage to mess it up. Sam! Glad you came. Of course. I said I would. I can still be glad about it. So, uh... I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? I was so wasted at that point, it's all just a big, heavy blur. Yeah. After saying I didn't want to drink, I went home and drank. Long night. Yeah. Sounds about right. We all deal with stress in our own ways. I apparently hit Dennis. Yeah, speaking of, you haven't seen him today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? <laughs> so, what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article. On how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on. Tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down, or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes, or she might be someone who you can trust, who can help. I just want to apologize to him for what happened yesterday. Well, he's probably working at the Basswood Jungle. He's there most weekends. Thank you. I'll check that out. We we're not gonna have coffee? Okay. Bye then. 